Admiral's log. Date April 13th, 1936. Relations with the British have deteriorated to the point where another war is now unavoidable. They have a massive navy of over 200 ships and their admiral is eager to test out his new toys. This upcoming war with the British was entirely avoidable. In our previous war, we had the British dead to rights. I had my boot on their neck. All I had to do was twist my foot and the British Empire as we know it would have ceased to exist. Back then, I decided against that. Because we still needed the British as a state actor to take their territories in the Mediterranean. Now that we have those territories, I will not be so merciful. Taking down the British fleet will take months, if not a year. As good as our ships are, we are simply outnumbered. This is going to be a long and bloody affair, but I will stop at nothing to crush the British once and for all. As to how the British have managed to rebuild so quickly, this is unclear. I suspect that their former colony, now known as the United States, has been secretly aiding them in rebuilding the Royal Navy. Even as the Americans are isolationists, they do like to have some influence in what happens in Europe. It is none of their concern, but Americans have been known to stick their noses where they do not belong. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 28 of the Big Guns campaign. Although we are slowly stepping down from that whole Big Guns doctrine, or at least Biggest Guns doctrine. Before we commit to the episode, I'd like to ask you if you are committed to the channel. I am well on my way to achieving 100,000 subscribers this year and I would very much like to achieve that milestone. So if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. You're really doing me a favor with that. Now, relative to episode 27, a lot of years have passed. It's now April 1936. I have the new Star Class Battlecruiser that I designed in the previous episode coming out in eight months. And you guys have been absolutely right about the Württemberg class. They're still fired with coal engines, which is um, a bit less than ideal. So what I want to do is make sure I have a refit and this is the design currently, like that coal-fired boilers with geared turbines. No, that will not do. We're going to go and upgrade these to have diesels, because this is a bit silly. I might also be able to crank out a bit more speed using those new engines, so let's try that. Now, the ship designs, we had the Württemberg 1933. I got a fuck ton of designs here. I upgraded the rest of the fleet, the Fritjofs, the Herthos, the Seeadlers, the Ottos, they're all 1935s giving them diesel engines, the best radars that I can get, a lot of different features that I have kind of overlooked on previous designs. Or at least um, some of the, I think the Seadler, the light cruiser class, they were particularly old. All right, these things now cost 150 million for 47,000 tons of displacement. Now we're gonna go to diesel two. And that means we are not gonna be firing oil. You do not really fire oil in a diesel engine. No, you do that with oil too. This means I suddenly have more displacement and also a higher price point. Can I remove a funnel? The answer is no, you cannot. Okay, what's my smoke interference? Almost nothing. These are Uber Funnel 2s. That's the only funnel that I can put on this ship, so that's fine. Let's see what else we can upgrade. Because if we get these guys in the dock for refits, I might as well go all the way with the refits. Uh, these guys were going to be mostly HE and SAP spammers. With the HE, you can do a lot of damage. With the SAP, you can eliminate most cruisers in a few hits. When it comes to the torpedoes, we have electric propulsion, and I now have the 22-inch. Sadly, nothing bigger yet, so I'll have to make do as is. Um, as for the rest, ship can get TNT4. There's no new propellants. I'm going to stick to standard shell size. I don't really know what else to put on these things except more speed. But if you go to 40 knots, you're coming up to a fairly high price tag. And yeah, we're suddenly jumping from 150 to 234 million. That's a lot. Let's make it 39 knots, but we're going to increase the range. 
to make sure that we have a more favorable battle chance. That's the objective. They have radar, they have autoloaders, yes. So, uh, more armor, I guess, because we got this weird little citadel right in the middle. That's where the main belt is. This is fore belt, this is aft belt. So, considering we have a bit of an aft belt issue, um, 14 inches of superstructure, that's still fairly ridiculous. Let's make this 15 inch, make that 15 inch, make this, I don't know, 12 inch, make that 11 inch. That's a bit too much. Make that 11 and this 10. Yes, that's more like it. We just need a bit more on the nose and a bit less on the ass. Yeah, that's better. These things, with the exception from long range fire, should be extremely resilient. Yes, they're more expensive, but that does mean that they have more operational range, they have less weight of an engine and more armor. So I'm willing to make those trades. Okay, I suppose refitting these is going to take me a while. I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to take me 12 months. Because this is a fairly serious refit. Taking out all the geared turbines. And refitting these with, well, oil for starters. Two months? Wow. You can refit from a geared turbine to a diesel 2 in three, two months? What the hell? Okay, I'll take it. Now, considering we're preparing for the next war, I have the capability of building the biggest battleship. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to build the biggest battleship. Because I now have the... Holy shit. I have the opportunity of going to 120... Oh, no, 150,000 tons. So maximum draft... Oh. <laughs> That's not even the biggest we can go. Sweet Jesus. Maybe not the biggest draft then. Bit less. There. Nine and a half percent. This is going to be a crazy expensive battleship. I want to make sure it has the best range. I want to make sure it has the best defenses. Anti torp, triple, reinforced, quad, citadel, anti flood. All right. When it comes to firepower, I want this thing to have an okay amount of main firepower but mostly focus on heavy secondaries. I want to be able to eliminate smaller ships in a hurry. Now, I probably won't be able to have this thing turn very quickly because it is so goddamn heavy. Turning circle 717? Wow. For a ship this size? This size being 1155 feet. What's that in body parts? That in regular metrics. 352 meters. With a beam of 55 meters. Jesus, I have ships which are shorter than that. Um, 55 meters, draft 9.6 meters, tons 131,308 is what we're currently displacing. Maximum load 150,133 tons. I wouldn't be surprised if these things are going to be costing me upwards of 700 million or so. That is most likely going to be fairly accurate. Okay, protection. I want to have five inches of superstructure armor, which for this ship is still not that much. Main guns. Um, I'm thinking 16s. Could I hide a 16 quad on there? Yes. What? Oh, it changes the citadel size. Right, watch this. Now my citadel is all of this. If I add this, my displacement goes down from 132,000 to 110. Because I just have the space from the funnel to the front turret. There we go. Engine efficiency is somewhat low. I don't really have room for a second funnel, which is unfortunate. 40%. Okay, we're going to have to break these towers up. And put an additional funnel in. Okay, a bit more. So, 13,000 tons. This is to deal with battleships. To make sure that this ship survives and is able to put out damage, we give them as many upgrades as possible. 
Current rotation, 1.6 degrees per second. Quite slow indeed. Give me semi armor piercing shells. Should still be relatively effective against battleships. Remove this. It's 2,000 tons, whatever. Semi ballistics. That's a little better. 28,000. Uh, sorry, 28.5 at 10,000 meter range. And this would be 22. I like 28 better. I could go for super heavy shells, but it gives me that ricochet nonsense, and it does give me a few more inches, but I'll make sure this is okay. Ideally, on a ship this size, I would put like 9 inch secondaries. That would be very fun to have, because you could just go like this. One, two, three, four, whatever. Uh, I can have eight of those turrets, but they're considered main guns. That's the problem. They're considered main guns, and as such, they're going to make my life more difficult, not better. This... Oh, there goes the Citadel size. That's not great. Yeah, I cannot really put guns in front of this turret here. Because it's not going to fit very well. Okay, what if I do go back to gear turbines? 148,000 tons. Shit. But... Balanced boilers. Remove this, put them to forced. Push this closer. No. And I get a 17,000... Right, okay. 18,000. Sad. Would have been nice to have. Pitch is a bit high. 25.9. I'm going to slow the ship down some. That gives me 4,000 tons. I'm going to have this thing have the best electric batteries to make sure it repairs itself very quickly. What the fuck? That's 5,000 tons? Never mind. Okay. What are we going to be firing with secondaries? What sort of secondaries am I seeking? I'm thinking long barrel 8. I'm not going to keep... I'm, I'm going to keep these at 16 inch. But not long barrels, so they reload in 73 seconds, as opposed to probably 100 plus. Yeah, 118. This would make them a lot more accurate. Probably... No, it doesn't slow them down in turning speed. I want to make sure these things fire a bit faster. 73 seconds is fine. Let's go with 8 inch double barrels. Because we can... Like we can do this a lot. I don't like how this looks. We have the opportunity to put our bets for small guns. Oh, come on. Just there? No, no, no. No, that will not do. Push these out. Out. I would like the eights to be long barrels, I think. These reload in 14 seconds. Rotation speed is good. AP range is 13.3. HE range is 12.9. If I put them to 20%, we're going to be looking at 18.9, but reload of 20 seconds. I'm willing to accept that. That's fine. I don't... I put these things all along the edges of the ship. So, this ship... You're out of line. There. The ship now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 8 inch guns per side, making it pretty much three heavy cruisers strapped to a side. That's pretty good. Let's go with a couple of fives. And maybe some smaller shit in the form of threes, insofar <clears throat> as we have spots. We do. There, there, and there. I do want to have those be long barrels as well. There. 600 million. Not too bad. Push this back a little bit. Push this back a little bit. Not that much. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to move the main tower. Which, of course, doesn't really want to work. these like 
Here. Here. I'm going to have to put them pretty far on the edge of the ship, otherwise they won't turn. Like these things. I believe this will not turn. Same for these. These will turn. Yes. Now they'll turn. Okay, 149,000 tons. How about 1,000 tons of armor? This thing is the best anti-torpedo protection I can get. Reducing torpedo damage by 50%. And that is if it cannot get out of the way. It has a turning circle of 626. It loses almost all of its speed in the turn. Which is not great. It's gonna have to do. 4 belt, 8 inch. Aft belt, 8 inch. 4 belt, 9 inch. No. Uh, 8 and 7. Seven. Hmm. Ten inch main deck. Slightly too heavy. What's my armor scheme? Twenty inches on the side there. I want to have these five inch guns survive, ideally. Let's put this on ten. Just seven tons over. There we go. Slight aft weight offset. Remove the aft, increase the bow. You shift this forward. That's another 0.6. Go on. Fine. I'll take the 0.4. I'll take the 0.4. 609 million. Siegfried. I think that sounds just about right. Let's go. So, this is probably going to take a while to build. And, well, so be it. So be it. If these things get into contact with the enemy, it's going to be fun. They take me 45 months to build. That's almost four years. Better get to it then. All right. Um, in the meanwhile, I also have a bit of a beef with the Brits. My relationship has dropped to minus 94. They really don't like me that much. Which is probably, well, I don't know. I haven't really been provoking them that much. Excuse me. They've been provoking me. Fuck off. What are you doing in the Baltic? This is my area. Hmm. Fine. Let's continue. I do expect war to break out with the British any moment now. There we go. Germans versus British minus 10. We're at war with the Brits. No, what? The Italians are at war with the Austro-Hungarians. What? A serious incident has occurred which involves the British Empire. One of their profound politicians was assassinated in cold blood. Oh, you you want me to pay, don't you? 900 million for a politician? I wouldn't give 10 pence. Fuck off. Mine's 30% relation with the Brits. Here we go. Uh, we are now at war with the British. We also have new capital ship towers, but they don't actually give me anything. So, my monthly budget has increased to 567 million, which I'm going to need... Because all my ships are currently set to limited. And that means they're about to become a lot more expensive. The British have a lot of ships. 200. So this conflict is likely going to take a while. We're going to kick off here against the battleship. 18 heavy cruisers? Sweet Jesus. Okay. Uh, I got Aegir, Fritjof, Loki, Markgraf, Prince Regent, Oldenburg... Yeah, we're going to have to send this whole task force to intercept these. Off you go. Then we have ADD there, a battleship, a CA, a CL, and two DDs there. That's the Rhineland. That's the 916 inchers. Go. This is... Whoa! This is the whole British fleet? 15 battleships? Good lord. I can muster quite a lot of battleships, but not 15. Let alone in one battle group. Holy shit. I hope my crews aren't too rusty. Yeah, we're refitting two of these battle cruisers. That's... It's not great timing. Muster the entire fleet. Everybody together. Oh, this is going to be a fucking powder keg here. I still have a battleship here. Considering the British don't have any involvement 
in the Mediterranean, I'm going to send the ships from Gibraltar to start causing a fuss here near Plymouth. Go. Oh, this is going to get massive, this fight. I hope this happens first so I can eliminate the battle group from there. Let's go. The Austro-Hungarians are clashing with the Italians. Stop pounding on the Italians, please. I mean, it's not like I'd never do that. The Italian observes from so far the war, but seems slow to move. Whatever. Oh, God. They've decided to send their whole fleet to intercept the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse. Now, supposedly, these are very advanced ships. The British supposedly have a new advanced class of ship. The Colossus we've seen, these things are really old. They're 12.1 inch guns. I think they're from the start of the war. Like, the start of the campaign, 1920. Uh, Kaiser, with her 16.9ers, might be able to do quite a bit of damage. So they have me outgunned... I don't even know how much to what. How many ships do they send? Like, 50? I mean, the Germans don't really run from a fight, at least not my Germany. So, we're gonna make a stand. And we're going to take down at least a couple of battleships. Okay. So that's 141 British ships. That's even bigger than their previous armada. I have three. I'll take these odds. Let's go. Oh. Some of these guys have been damaged. Interesting. Now, the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große. Let's reacquaint ourselves with this ship. It's an autoclass. Very potent, capable warship. Um, it has radar too. I don't expect the British to have that. Let's see if we can... Look at this overview. Let's see if we can find a ping. So I know how far away these guys are going to be. I suspect somewhere in the vicinity of 50 clicks or so. We got Hertha and Turingia. <laughs> oh god, you guys are so outclassed. So outclassed. Oh, you're... Oh, well, at least you're a legend. That's something. Uh, we are going to follow the battleship, and it's going to be up to the Kaiser to deal as much damage as she can. My game is not liking this. This stuttering is because the game is going, you want to simulate how many ships? I, mean, I don't know. You started this. 140 ships. Plus... <laughs> So as part of the Q&A, a question was sent in. Is it possible to limit the amount of ships in a campaign battle, please? Because this is... This is not really playable on lower-end systems. I mean, I have a... What I think is a pretty high-end system. You can find the specifications down below in the description. And my system is struggling with this. And I'm not sure if it's the system or if it's the the game. I mean, my GPU is not making a ton of noise. My CPU seems fine. I think it's the game that's struggling with simulating all of this shit. Do we have anything? A smoke screen? A radar ping? I'll take anything. Whoa, 60 clicks out? Yes. 70 clicks out. I can shoot up to 50. I don't know how far I'll be able to detect them. Oh, this is pretty painful. Enemy smoke spot at northeast. Yeah, right. With the current tech, I wonder who's going to spot who first. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going to be able to spot them. Because their tech level is supposedly very advanced. It might mean that they have a lot of AI research done. Whether that means that they're actually effective, I don't know. Slow the ship down. Good lord. Smoke, northeast. Need a ping. I mean, I'm definitely not going to push into this division. That'd be suicide. There's still 60 clicks out. Closer. That 
Collision sounded closer. All right. Here we go. Contact with the enemy. This is potentially just the Vanguard. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at yet. Yeah, it's DDs. I'm spotting everything. They haven't spotted me. So if I can eliminate these escorts, these DDs, then my life is going to be a lot easier. The 8.9s are coming into range. The 4.9s are coming into range. I've told my main guns to only fire when they have a good firing solution. And considering we're looking at a couple of really small ships, I don't expect the main guns to be opening up soon. What I do expect is that these DDs are going to close the distance before I have an opportunity to eliminate them. And as such, they'll be able to spot the Kaiser following a massive salvo from the British as they finally have something to shoot. Now the Kaiser has been updated to include torpedoes, but they can only hit 11 kilometer range targets. Ideally, I would not have anything within 25 clicks or so. So something to the tune of uh, 11 kilometers is not likely to... Well, ideally, not likely something that we'll actually encounter. I think that the game is going to be fairly unplayable, however. Hello, what are you? Are you a BC? What? What are you? What are you? You're some sort of... Heavy cruiser? With the smallest guns possible? It's 15 6.2s, then 12 threes, and then 63 2.7 inch guns in triples, another 6 in singles, and another 12 in doubles. So this is destroyer hell. I don't really know what their range is. Nine and a half clicks. Long barrels then. Let's see if we can hit this with the main guns. What was it again? Um, main guns, shift, alt, right click. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. This is a light. It's another light. The farther something is to the right, the smaller it is. The heavy cruise that they had was absolutely astronomical. Range. 16 clicks. I'm going to have to start kiting away. Uh, I want the Turinja actually to just leave the division and evac. She's the slowest ship that I have, doing only 26 knots. Shit, I've been detected. Something spotted me. I'm not seeing a disastrously large salvo engage the Kaiser yet. That could happen any moment. How am I supposed to play this battle against 150 ships? And the battle might not actually be a bad idea. Considering that this is... I mean, this is nuts. The problem is, if I don't do it now, they're going to get more ships. Meaning, it's going to get even worse. So I might as well do it now. And at least try and get some ships killed before the rest show up and decide that they want to have a nice fleet of 200 ships. Which I will then engage with my 30 or 40 ships, which means that the, the game's probably going to crash the desktop at that stage. It's probably not going to be a very fun experience. Come on. Oh. The British have not really been maintaining all these ships that well. I'm surprised they can maneuver this many ships so far without causing an enormous clusterfuck and collisions. So hey, at least they're doing that right. 15-6. Hello, what's your torpedo range? What's your gun range? Oh. So Hertha's in torpedo range, huh? Consider me not a fan. Marshal Pen. First hit on an enemy destroyer. Where's my crew training? Seasoned. Okay. The game is artifacting like crazy. I mean, you can 
Sort of see these ships shift, and I'm running to three times speed. Boom. Hello. Ricochet now? Okay. Main guns, high explosive. We got 218 of those shells. Better make them count. Oh. Yeah, you got in the way. Good night. Good night. Shoot this. We might accidentally hit that. Or not so accidentally. Let's exploit that little bug over there. What were you? Were you indeed a CL? You're a DD. Hold on. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Light cruisers. Light cruisers are packing 7.7 .7 inch guns. I'm fairly certain that these are the light cruisers. They're just odd. What are you shooting at? Shoot this. Whoa, 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 whoa! We are not pushing into this fucking division. That is crazy. I like how bold this captain is. It's just going to get him killed. That's kind of the problem here. Shoot this, because this is a massive target. Secondaries on this, then. Earth, uh, 8.5% chance to hit. I like you. The moment something gets into range, you torp it. Ideally, in this general direction, you torp it. And I can already see the comment section going, Yep, yeah, see, I knew you needed torpedoes. Well, you're not wrong. I just wasn't expecting a fleet of 150 British ships to show up. Because... A while ago, they didn't have half that many. And then the AI went on some sort of crazy building spree and went, haha, and now we do. Okay, we're gonna start shooting this. This is getting too close. Oh, you did. Yep, yeah, you did. Stupido boat. Hold up. A torpedo in this general direction. I might hit. Something else. I'm gonna torp this here. I hope this guy continues to close. Blocked? Eartha? Ship is yet unidentified. Wow. What on earth are you doing? Don't be like that. Uh-oh. If you need me, I'll be over somewhere else. Torpedo this asshole. Provided torpedo launchers haven't been destroyed yet. Okay, not... Here. Turn. You stop following, start turning. Then avoid collisions. I don't care about collisions. Hello, Caroline. 45 million for a CL. You're finally learning. Oh my god, this is going to connect with a torpedo or two. I would hate for their first salvo to actually eliminate one of my ships with a torpedo. But if the Hertha doesn't start turning fast, she might just be the first victim. Kaiser, we're going to continue to turn, and we're going to move out. Oh, this is not good. I'm going to get hit. Shit. Should have dodged that before. I mean, there's just two torpedoes, not 15. Look at this anthill. <sighs> Increase the flank. You want to survive? Start fixing your flooding and make sure that you survive somehow. To fight another day. Did you get hit bad? Yeah, you did. By a 16 incher. Very nice. Chance to hit. Chance to pen. All very good. Let's go with main guns. 
They're flooding. Come on, Caroline. Bulkheads? Standard. Finish her. That was 2700 damage. Are you still not dead? No, there you are. Alright. Uh, we're gonna shoot at this CA, the champion. S the smaller guns can, for now, just engage light cruisers. That's fine. I've done 19k damage. I've taken 500-ish. Not a bad start. Where's Turinja? Departing. Very good. She's a hero. She needs to survive. Come on. Give me some hits on this CA, please. Yes. Very good. 69. Very nice. 69 million for a heavy cruiser. That's a nice flooding on the minion. Got plenty of minions. I haven't seen a battleship or battle cruiser yet. Not sure if that's good or concerning. But, so far, I believe I have not been shot at by anything bigger than a 7-inch gun. No, I've not been hit by anything bigger than a 7-inch gun. So, so far, I am pretty pleased with the current state of affairs. Belfast. I'm going for kills here. I'm not going for these half-assed. I'm going to try and damage as many ships as possible. I know that that might cause economic damage to the Brits, but this is causing physical damage to my computer, so... I want to eliminate ships. I want to get kills. You're shooting at Champion. Can you pen Champion? Not very well. HE. Come on. Knock it out. Oh, come on. I know you have better shots than that, Kaiser. I know you can do better than that. Got the light cruiser Barracuda over there. What's your torpedo range? 15-1? Shit, the British have invested in bigger and faster, no, longer range torpedoes. That's not fun. Chance to pen? 58. Back to AP. The hearth had anything useful? No. Makes sense because she's br not broadside, so she cannot use her guns. Come on, finish this cruiser. Nope. No hits. Put the secondaries on the bar. Oh, Barracuda. Not even the Barracuda. Barracuda. Very British. BB. Nottingham. Why are you paying 69 million for this cruiser? This is a pretty terrible cruiser. It's a heavy cruiser with small guns. That has no HE ammo. Like, justify your existence. See? You cannot do shit. You cannot do shit. Uh, main guns on the Belfast. Secondaries maintain the Barracuda. Turinja. You're nicely disengaged. Hertha. You're shooting a destroyer. Dude. You had so many better targets. The Nottingham's broadside. How about that? Also, they fucked up your rudder. That's not great. Not too optimistic about my chances to hit. I'm not even sure if this is fun to watch, guys. Let me know down below in the comments, because I suspect this will not be the last of these massive battles. So let me know if you're enjoying this uh, low FPS fest. I think it is... I don't think that these kind of engagements should be in the game. They're too big. The game cannot handle them. Target Phoebe with your HEs. 
start turning back. I don't know if the game will break up these divisions. That's my other concern. If these continue to grow, and I know that the British continue to build more and more and more ships, so if these divisions continue to grow, it's going to get worse. Not better, it's going to get worse. There was some flooding on Belfast, but not that much. And the British are at war with me, so they also have a massive budget, and they had a massive budget for a long time because they were fighting the Italians. How much armor do you have? Not a lot. HE on the secondaries. How are you doing, Eartha? Not great, not terrible. Ship does appear to be struggling with range finding. Now, I was fully planning on taking down a battleship or something like that, because they're fairly easy to hit. But at this rate, I'm going to be only hitting slash eliminating some cruisers, I guess. Probably not much more than that. Belfast is flooding. Maximum bulkhead, she'll live. How many times have you been shot at? 2,000 times. They only <laughs> they only hit 75. Nice. See, I could just disengage. Because I am ahead. But... I'm not sure what the right call is here. How much armor do you guys have? These overpriced heavy cruisers. Mm, fairly healthy amount of armor. That's not really going to be pinnable with my HE shells. We're fighting at a range of 15-ish. So I can pen 14 inches of armor with HE. That's pretty good. How many ships do you guys imagine we're looking at here? This is, I think, a third of the enemy fleet. A third. I think there's a lot more here. Are you still shooting the Phoebe? No, you're still shooting the Barracuda. Okay. I think none of these guns really have the potential to deal a lot of damage to the Kaiser. It's... My biggest concern here is that they burn it down. They either burn it down or they kill the crew. I've only lost 4% of the crew so far, so right now I'm not concerned. Still have 566 AP shells left. I think time's gonna run out. <laughs> That's probably gonna be the fastest way to end this battle. Belfast is extremely angled. Switch the Royal Alfred. This is not going to get me any kills, no. Is this thing going to torp me yet? Soon. Can we hit the Phoebe with the mains? Is that feasible? Because she's only like 10 kilometers out. Yeah, 18% chance to hit. I just need to get... Two hits with an HE shell, and that thing is gone. Why are we not hitting with torpedoes? Why are we not even launching torpedoes? I mean, they're functional. They work. They haven't been destroyed yet, despite the enemy's best efforts. Really. Go on. Everything missed? She's not in the smoke screen, dude. <laughs> Come on. Kaiser. Come on. I need to take a screenshot of this massive fleet. Kill them. I just torped me. Shoot! 
Thank you. Destroyed a torpedo launcher. That's fun, but we're a little late. Eartha status? Mostly disengaged. Closest targets, 22 clicks, which is too far? No, it's not. Shoot the Barracuda. Just don't push in. What a battle. Because the battle was so unplayable, I decided to continue for a bit and then just end the battle when the button showed up. Um, I got almost 4,000 victory points. They got 16. I lost 122 crew. They lost over 2,000. And they lost three heavy cruisers. Or, well, three cruisers. Um, as you can see, that barely scratches the numbers. It's just a ton of ships. And the only thing I eliminated was what? A, a heavy, a light, and a DD, I think? It's a start. It's a start. Not much more than a start. But okay, let's go. Click to continue. <laughs> a lot of ships took some damage. So this might saddle the British with a lot of damage cost. My ship's going to be fixed in one month. And they've decided to go back to the... What? No. The Austro-Hungarians want to declare war against the Italians. It's wrong. They already have. I'm not going to follow them in. Oh, I salvaged some crew members. I think they mean saved, but okay. Right, so in the North Sea, power projection on my part is 114,000 versus 91,000 on the Brits. Right. Could you... Could you get your ships out of Germany, perhaps? Like... Maybe. That'd be lovely. You guys, link up. This is a nice target. It's gonna be a big battle, not as big. Should be more manageable. And this... Uh, oh, they sent everybody back. They sent everybody back. Okay, we're gonna start pushing then. Start pushing here. Let's go. Right, so we're massively, massively engaging the British, and this is going to take a lot of episodes. I hope you guys will join me for that. Again, subscribe, help me get to that 100k, and I will keep making the videos. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you soon for the next 